Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy here, Glowstick, back with another video. Wait, never mind. It's actually a new series I'm starting. I'll be teaching you how you guys can create your own personal website and some little tips and tricks about HTML and CSS. To get started on this tutorial, you will need nothing, but there are some things that we will be installing to make it a bit easier for us. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. First thing what we want to do is you want to go to your search bar and search up Visual Studio Code. Now I think most of you who watch my videos already have this and if you do, that's great. If you don't, I suggest you download this. Yes, you can use other things like Repel it, but that would be really slow and I just don't suggest doing that overall. So all you want to do is click this, download for Windows or if you have Linux, Mac, whatever, just click it and go through the default things you won't need to install anything special like you do in python uh html and css is pre-equipped with every single um how do i say this os i guess after you set it up it should look something like this when you boot it up yours may look a bit different as i have github and a couple more extensions here and i have a new theme on this that you guys may not have but other than that it should be the same exact layout so we're gonna uh, before starting create a uh, get an extension which will make life a lot easier for us it will allow us to host our website locally so we can test stuff out and look at the changes that we create so over here on the sidebar you should see this little block icon and it says extensions go ahead and click that and i have a lot of extensions here you guys probably won't if you just download it and but go over here and search up live server it should be the first one that pops up but currently it has 13 million downloads go ahead and click install i already have it installed as you guys can see and it will just allow us to create our very own live server and as you can see here it creates like a local host that we can view our website on now that you have that just wait for it to download we can actually get into the coding of the website okay so here as you guys can see i am in another it looks like kind of the same video window but actually what i did is i went over here to file clicked open folder and i opened whatever folder that i wanted to create my website in if you ha don't have a folder yet you could just right click um click a new here and then folder and create your folder and then just double click on that and select the folder over here i have a folder called youtube tutorial yours can call whatever you'd like and I haven't taught you yet, told you yet, but in this series, we will be doing two episodes, two or one episode of HTML and then a little project at the end together. And yes, all the code for the projects and stuff will be in a GitHub uh, that you guys can access. It will be public, everything. Uh, and then we'll move on to CSS and then JS. And then at the end, we will be able to do a final website that we're going to make together. And the source code will be available for that as well. So today we're mainly focusing on HTML. Now, in order to create a file, you can just click plus on this file icon. And most of HTML files are called index. So we're gonna follow through with that and do index.html. Now yours should look something like this. Or just a blank file where you can type whatever you like. Do not type whatever you like. Actually, search up HTML, put in HTML, and you should get guaranteed with these three options. Go down to HTML colon 5, or you can just do 5, and then enter. And this will get you the default layout for HTML. I'm going to enter that because I just like how it looks better. But yeah, this is basically as simple as it gets in HTML. You can also indent this so it just looks a bit nicer. And now you may also notice that, actually I don't have this, but there should be an icon down here that says live share or live server. So you just wanna go ahead and click that. If you do not see that icon like I don't, you can click Control Shift P or Command Shift P if you're on Mac and open this up. Just search up live and it should say open with live server. Click that and it should create a live server as you can see. Hold up, let me pull it up right now. As you guys can see right here, this is the live server. It says document up top here. so. If we actually edit that, it'll go to Visual Studio Code, and let's say we can put to Hello YouTube. If I can spell 
I'll just do hello YT. Okay. Uh, we can save it. Go to file, click save. And now, if we go back here, it automatically updates for us to hello YT. And there. Now, that's just the very simplest thing. Let's actually, I'm going to show you how you can make headings and text appear in HTML. So, first you want to go into body and do h1. It should auto-complete for you right there. And h1 through h6. These are headings. So, if we do title, and let's just copy and paste this a bunch of times. You guys don't have to do this if you don't like to. But, I will because... You know, it's just as a demonstration. Change this to H4 and such. And now, if we go to our um, thing here, as you guys can see, it says title, 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 title. Gradually getting smaller. This is the H1, this is the H2, H3, and H4. This goes all the way down to H6, so you can get any size of text you'd like. And this is just so, you know, if you have subheadings, anything like that, you could use this. We're just going to use the H1 for now. I used the wrong tag. Uh, we're going to call it Hello IT Lens. Why not? You know. There's also a paragraph tag. So if you want to write a big blob, you could use this. So just do slash dash P, I guess, or tag. These are called tags right here. And this is a closing tag. You will need a closing tag for most things. So... We could just write a big bug of text. But if you don't want to write this and you want to add something, you could actually do lorem 7 and boom. This is actually a feature in most text editors. So let's say lorem and 400. This will give you 400 words. So don't do this for your math test or what I mean, math test, writing test. And if I reload here, all 400 words show up on screen. So this is just say for text that multiple people use. You may have seen it in websites before, but now I'm gonna show you buttons, links, and such like that because HTML is huge. And if we wanna clear it, we're gonna have to kind of go fast. If you always need help, just join my Discord server and, and go to the web development section where I'll gladly help you. This is really easy. Right now, what we're doing, we're just doing the basics. There's also a button. Now you maybe know what this does already, it creates a button. You can put whatever text in here, let's say this is a button. There you go. And now, you guys won't believe this, but it updated here. Right now we didn't hook it up to anything, so it just doesn't do anything, but let's actually do that. If we go to Visual Studio Code again, and this time we can use the link tag. What the link tag is, is a href. So whatever, let's say google.com, so this will take me, actually no, we don't want to go to google, let's go to youtube.com slash closer. Right, and this, basically if we click the link, it will take us there. This is, all we want to do is we want to put this around the button, so do, paste that there. Wrap it around the button like so. And just so it's easier for you guys to understand, like see this kind of? I will do this. Drop that down. There you go. So it's like kind of a hierarchy. Now, if we go to here, random, you guys can see this. I hope you guys can actually. Uh, and now, this time, if we click the sub button, it takes us to my YouTube, which you guys should subscribe by now. Thank you for 780 subscribers. Now, if we go back, that's basically link some buttons covered. You guys can take wherever like your imagination falls with this. Um, this is gonna be it for the first video though. We this may have not been like a long time, but we actually went over quite a bit. In the next video, I will be going a bit more in depth into this, uh, showing you guys how you can make uh, images and lists, and you can actually do a lot more with this. There are also like specific tags, like strong and like some stuff to I don't um italicize something, which once again, I'll go over this in the next video. So be sure to hit like, subscribe. We're really close to 800 subscribers. And um, just see where your imagination takes you with this. Because I've seen some really cool websites built with HTML. And 
you know, this is just starting. So if you don't get it right away, you can always ask for help. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, a like would be appreciated. But that's going to be it for today. Till next time, both together. See ya.